how to download custom content from a few sites. It's really easy. Um, so this is The Sims resource, front page, got all your downloads, um, like all your different categories, etc. your search bar. Um, so yeah, search for whatever you want. Um, one thing I do want to go over just quickly is um, that you need to make sure when you're downloading custom content that it has the mesh. So here's an example of a custom content piece, the skirt. Um, it says that it needs the mesh. So basically what that means is that this is just a recolor or a retexture of the original design. So sometimes it'll the link will be you know in the description or um, under recommended. You'll be able to find it. So what you have to do is you have to go to the original mesh and you have to download the original mesh first. So if you don't download the original meshes, um, it it won't work in your game. It's as simple as that. So Here's the original mesh. Um, all you have to do is you just hit the green download button right here on the Sims resource. Um, and then you go back to your previous one and you download that one too. So that's pretty simple. Um, so I'll now give you an example of how to download. So here's a custom content item. It's got the mesh already in it. There's new mesh, so that's good. All you have to do is you just hit download. You wait the 10 seconds, tells you what you're downloading to, which is handy if you're downloading a bunch of different stuff at the same time. And it will come up with this page. Thank you for downloading. Once this little little thing stops spinning, depending on your computer or whatever you're using, mine comes up here. It's downloaded. Cool. That's a package file, so that's just a single file. Um, here's an example of like a set, what they call a set. So you can see here all the creations that are included in the set. Now, you can download these individually. So see how it says click view and download separately? You can do that. But for the purpose of this, I'm gonna show you, you just hit the green button and it'll come up slightly different. So it won't come up as a package, it'll come up as a zip file. Generally on The Sims Resource, I haven't had a WinRAR file um, from The Sims Resource, but um, if you use like a tumble or something, sometimes people use WinRAR too. So you got to make sure you can, you have the software to um, unzip a WinRAR file. So again, thank you for downloading, and it downloads. And as you can see here, the zip file, which is good. That's fine. Um, I just wanted to show you an example of a zip and a package as well, what you have to do with them once you finish downloading. So I'm just going to go on to now a different website. So this is the simscatalog.com. Um, it's just another website that you can search through a bunch of different custom content. So you can type up here what you're looking for, if you're looking for something specific or here. Um, so you just click on click on something that you want to download. Um, you can view the product. So it'll show you the photo. Um, it'll show you who it's by, the description, and it'll tell you where it's available from. So available at the Sims resource. You just hit download and it'll actually take you to the website that it's from. So Sims resource, again, you just hit that green little download button it's really simple. So that's another good website to use. Um, like I said, it, it'll just take you to the website where you can download it from and then you just hit the download button from there. Um, okay, so this one is a Tumblr. I really like this Tumblr. Um, got all the categories. I'm going to go the themed 
list. So there's all these themes here that you can click on. Um, every tumble is slightly different. Um, so it, it just depends. Um, so here's an example of a cool 80s stuff punk hairstyle. So you've got the description. It's got the mesh. So generally when it says just don't include the mesh, it means that it's, it's their mesh. Um, so you hit the download button and it'll take you, it'll redirect you to whatever site. Sometimes it's SIM file share. This one is um, OneDrive. So you just click on it, click download, and it should start downloading for you. Yep, here you go. So this is an example of a WinRAR file as well. So you've got zips, your WinRAR, so that's fine. It's all the same. So what you want to do is you need to go to your document or wherever your EA Electronic Arts folder is. So you need to click on this. You then need to go to the Sims 4 folder and you need to come down to where it says mods. So your mod folder. As you can see, I've already got a bunch of different custom content in here. Um, you essentially just, this is where you put it in. So you go from your downloads. I like to open it up in a new window so you can just drag and drop everything over. Um, and that's literally what you do. So your package file, you just drag and drop in. Um, your zip file and your WinRAR is a little bit different. So you want to drag and drop. And then you right click, I've got 7-zip, and you just extract your files. So once it's extracted, it's there. Same with the WinRAR file, you just put it in, and you extract here. And it's extracted. And that's, that's, that's how you do it, it's that easy. You just drag and drop it for me, downloads, a zip file or a WinRAR, you just unzip it um, and it's all there. Um, another quick thing too is that for any of your mods or your custom content, you must ensure that it's only one file in, folder. One folder in. So, example, you've got the Sims 4 mods folder. This is one folder in. That's it. If there was another folder in here and that folder had these in it, it wouldn't work. So you can only have one folder in. Um, yep, that's it. That's how easy it is. I will show you how to then in the Sims, if you haven't done it already, you need to enable your mods and I will show you how to do that. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's how you download it and that's how you put it into your folder. Enjoy. Once you guys get to your game, to enable your mods or custom content, you have to do this. So you go to game options, come down to other, and as you can see, I've already done it, but you enable your custom content and mods. So you have to click that. Once you click that, you apply changes and it'll actually come up with a notification to say that you have to close your game and go back into it for it to work. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, everything should work perfectly fine.